this is just the final phase of it, hopefully, on this fire. You know, hopefully this will put it to bed. Just have to close this door and open another one and, and, and hope that the future is, is a good future. Today marked the first time some wildfire victims could walk through the damage on their property. The firefight isn't over in Sevier County. We will take you to the front lines tonight on what is another day of extreme fire danger across East Tennessee. Leaders in Sevier County say the Hatcher Mountain fire is 98% contained. Flames damaged dozens of homes and a total of almost 300 structures across roughly 2,500 acres. Just across the ridges, a 30-minute drive away in Seymour, the DuPont fire is still burning. It is 75% contained after burning almost 700 acres. Two buildings were reportedly lost in that fire. Our team coverage today continues with those two wildfires in Sevier County. We begin with 10 News reporter Cole Sullivan. He is in Wares Valley, but Cole, you spent much of the day on that DuPont fire on the front lines of the firefight there. John, the firefighters there say last night the fire did not jump any of their containment lines. That's good news. The news that they're trying to battle right now, the less good news, it's dry out and it's getting drier. Also, the smoke settled into the valley this morning. That meant that the helicopters couldn't fly to provide air support. So the crews on the ground have been doing the lion's share of the work and we were with them today. This hotshot crew is fighting fire with fire. We want it controlled now. In the woods south of Seymour, these elite firefighters from Asheville set intentional flames called backfires. The safest thing to do is to light the backfire that increases the size of our fire line, our defensive line. It expands the containment lines of this fire, which has burned at least two structures since it began five days ago. This is just the final phase of it, hopefully, on this fire. You know, hopefully this will put it to bed. The crews cut trees and burn the brush with a diesel gasoline mix. Traditional city firefighting tactics don't work here. There's no way we could get water all up on the side of this mountain to put this out. Carving a path through the woods requires heavy equipment. There's no roads to this, so that's why we use the bulldozer. Or a precarious walk along the hillside, chainsaw in hand. A languishing windsock at the fire command center gives crews hope, but forecasted winds ahead of a storm front add urgency to their fight. We want to make sure that we're keeping control on it as much as possible. Even after this backfire flames out, the work is not done. You have to be very careful. You have to stay with these fires, make sure they're out. And making sure they, they're out means staying here until the rain starts falling later this week. And even then, firefighters may have to monitor hot spots in the coming days. Still, the incident commander tells me that the progress today has been very good. John. Cole Sullivan live for us in Wares Valley tonight. Now, East Tennessee is seeing extraordinarily dry conditions. You can see pegged in the extreme zone there, meaning high fire danger. The Sevier County Emergency Management Agency posted that image on Facebook saying the winds are up and humidity is down, so no burn permits are allowed. We